everyone got to uh, give their uh, relationship status. So my question is, uh, all of you, most of you guys are on OnlyFans. So have you encountered any issues with dating because of having OnlyFans? I bet guys definitely get kind of upset, mm -hmm. but it's like, if you're not gonna pay my bills, you can't tell me to stop making my income sort of thing, you know? I advertise as polyamorous, so I'm pretty straightforward from the beginning. This is what it is. So one question on the polyamory. So um, what's the most amount of partners you've had at one time? <laughs> like that I'm in love with? Sexual partners. Oh. Love or not? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure I'd love know. to know. I've never really kept track. Is that something you do? Do you keep track? Well, I'm you, like, typically you're like, a one, one, one woman person. I typically oh, okay. only sleep with one girl at a time. Gotcha. So, so you're monogamous typically. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. But so I mean, con and I'm speaking concurrently, so at the same time. So maybe not like same day, but say over right. the stretch of a two week period, a month period. I would say three or four. Three or four is that the most? I don't most? see them all the time, like you know. Have you ever had like seven at the same time? No, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. A bit much? Hard to keep track. Too, too much. On Monday through Sunday. <laughs> yeah. You get your Monday man. And like, and you're saying your like Tuesday you're shorty. them, right? Like you're actually in relationships. Yeah, like, say, no. like you're actually say I have a confirmed. girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm very in love with her. And then I have a boyfriend. Yeah. And I'm very in love with him. Here, yeah. leave, no, I totally leave this, get uh, Eric, leave this up. I'm going to read it while it's here. Yo, VD Cars, thank you for the 200. You want men to be traditional and pay for things, but none of you act like traditional women. If I shared a photo <laughs> of the national flags of Tonga, <laughs> Albania, China, Morocco, Singapore, Tunisia, Switzerland, and Isle of Man, there would still oh be fewer God. red flags in that image than on <laughs> this podcast. One, actually. I'm so, so traditional, <laughs> but you just can't see that. What like, you don't know. Woman? How do you know that we're not tradition? I'm, tradition. Like, who cares about mm. tradition? I, I am what not I tradition. Didn't one of you I just say that you're back to like, not paying bills for women? But that's I not called tradition. That's, that's, that literally is called tradition. Yeah. Nobody said I, I want my no, man to pay not. my bills. That's Men, oh tradition. yeah, that's different. Like you don't want. Men yeah. being I'm just providers. polyamorous. Men being providers is them being traditional, mm -hmm. adhering to their traditional gender roles. What's traditional mean? And like traditional yeah. woman, it's who who staying at home and raise the kids. But I I can I can raise a kid by myself. Well, with, I mean, like and sure, don't work. But you can be traditional in. I don't your like behavior. don't get. I'm so old fashioned. I'm I'm monogamous. I'm so old fashioned old in so many word. different ways because I was born and raised in Russia. It's like my mentality is like it's so traditional and old fashioned. But again, how we, how you can know. Like you mm. can't just because the way I talk, it's it you can't see that. I also think it's I think I also think it's like way harder to be like quote unquote traditional in this day and age. Like exactly. just with yeah. with how expensive just living is now, mm -hmm. um, it is nearly impossible to be like a dude, like just a regular dude working a regular job and be able to provide you for go. you and your spouse and a kid mm -hmm. and yeah. like get a house like that's insane it's in, it's actually impossible yeah like it, it yeah. doesn't operate with a regular the job way. yeah and so yeah. like in america so like you know Everyone's people people creative. are just kind of reaching mm -hmm. for for like fewer and fewer fruits because like you're not talking about just finding a guy that has a job anymore you're talking about like like a very small pool of men that have managed exactly. to like beat the odds and and have a career that is sustainable you know um True but that's that. that's why that's why the this like idea of tradition at least in america is like <laughs> impossible it's like it doesn't exist i don't think yeah. it's impossible but you do make a good point that there are certain economic realities where it makes it harder for the man to be the sole breadwinner in a family and but everything everything is a trickle down from that isn't as it? a traditional woman should cook it clean it's just a question should what? Should it's cook and clean? Yeah. I mean, when I'm thinking of traditional, it's it's more about just your demeanor, like how you act. Yeah. Okay. How I you act in the life? Cooking and weekend. cleaning, like that's cool. So your girl can have an OnlyFans? Is that a way of acting? I would or say is that no. <laughs> so I. What I mean, if, why wouldn't if you want to date someone with what an OnlyFans? What if she's like super traditional, but it's her like really hobby and because. Like I, my, my friend, she's like super traditional, typical Russian woman, has a, two kids, she's married, but she has like her own things about like, not only fans, but like s sexual stuff, which she, and, and for her, it's like a hobby. So it's like, but she's still traditional. That's fine, know. but I think a lot of men will look at women who are really invested in their career and think, 
for example, the guy who wants family and kids, he's going to look at a girl who's really invested in her career and think, well, maybe she's not going to be particularly involved or wanting <laughs> to be involved in the household when it comes to raising the kids. Because, and hey, if she wants to pursue a career, that's great. But I think men might look at that and be like, well, maybe I'd want to pursue someone who might be more willing to work part time <laughs> or even not work at all and let me be the breadwinner and they <laughs> take care of the inner household while the man takes care of the outer household. I totally agree with that. Like even myself, cause I run several different companies and I feel men are often intimidated by that. Mm. And like, it's a turnoff because they want, and like, I even looked at the yeah. guys that I would date and they're all with somebody just like that, that would take that part time job or was just working like a babysitting job. They were a teacher mm -hmm. and they can just finagle their way out of there. But any girl that's running their own I think it is often very intimidating Don't for men. This. Not all men, but a lot of men. I, I can I go ahead. I'm so, I can stop. Uh, I, I I don't say Look stop my Karen's career, comment. but I'm like I can pause my projects if I'm really getting into the marriage and the kids. So it's like I still have my passion about dancing, like massage, all that stuff. But if I'm like getting into a serious relationship, and there I I think like I need like put more attention in their and into the family and relationship i can like oh okay my project can wait and i'm like no. yeah that's yeah no i couldn't do that not at this point in my life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah not at all um yeah i'm totally yeah. Uh, okay with that so it's like just again like my family is my priority like my daughter is my priority mm -hmm. when i have a husband husband and my family is my priority i can i can pause the business i can pause everything in in my relationship right now i would say it's generally pretty traditional where I make all the money and my girlfriend who's here in the studio is her main goal is to just have a family as, as soon as possible. Um, and she has some career goals, but she's said, you know, from the start, like as soon as I'm ready to have a kid, she's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a full time job. Is she taking yeah. care of her? Does mm -hmm. her family have money? Does her family have money? Were her family taking care of her? I'm taking care of her. Before that? Uh, she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes I mean, sense she had though. a, she had a job, she had an internship, but, um, well, women who yeah. are independent on their own, they have no, they ha don't have an opportunity or you're just going to be on the street. So some people have that hustle and they're working, mm -hmm, working, yeah. working, mm -hmm. and that's all they can do. So it's like, okay, now I'm successful. And now a guy comes around mm -hmm. and I have all this. And then suddenly they don't want you because you're too busy. You're not hand and foot at them. That's, it's an issue. You wanted to go. Yes. I just wanted to say something to what you, um, <clears throat> just mentioned my boyfriend himself as well he knows i work and you know i'm successful he's successful but he also says i don't have to work if i you know don't want to or because he could provide and he would provide because that's how he was raised and that's what he would want to do for the woman that he loves so i love that you're doing that okay i'm gonna do a couple uh super chats here by the way i think